Good day, Building Efficiency. This is Andrew DeGeer, Vice President of Strategy and Acquisitions for all of Building Efficiency. And I'm Clay Nessler, Vice President of Global Energy and Sustainability. What does that mean, Clay? It means I spend most of my time trying to save the planet for fun and profit. <laughs> That's excellent. But we've probably got to be pretty innovative in order to do that. Absolutely. And so when we think about and the whole new campaign we've launched about what would Warren do? It's all about trying to uncover the bits of innovation on John's controls that's going to be able to power our growth for the next 125 years. So where's that innovation going to come from, do you think? Well, I think we're going to use models very similar to the ones Warren did when he invented the thermostat. Yeah, but that was back in 1883. What did Warren actually do? What Warren did was he solved a customer problem. And how did he do that? Well, he was tired of pounding once on the pipes to increase the temperature and twice on the pipes to decrease the temperature and wake up someone down in the basement to shovel in more coal. So he took this customer problem, which was regulation of uh, temperature, and built a company around it. Wow. So how did he build a whole company just from that simple idea? You know, what's different about the company that Warren Johnson built is that he viewed it as an end-to-end solution. If you uh, stand on the sidewalk outside 507 and look at Building 1 and you look up and you see Johnson Service Company. Yeah, Hmm. I know that door. I've walked under it. Johnson Service Company. I thought we were Johnson Controls. Well, how did it change its name and where did it come from originally? The original name was actually Johnson Electric Service Company because Professor Johnson realized that just providing a product, a device, wouldn't actually solve the problem. Back then, it would require detailed engineering, specification. It would require the installation of rather complex equipment and, most important, ongoing services to maintain it over the life. He was solving a comfort problem and needed an end-to-end solution to be able to solve that. Wow. Our company actually still sounds like that today. It does. It's, it's actually part of our legacy. If you look at the competition at the beginning of this century, you had the Minneapolis Honeywell Regulator Company and the Powers Regulator Company. They were wired around product, and while they had similar business models, the focus was always on products. We took a much more solutions orientation. And today, 125 years later, we're leaders in control systems, in mechanical equipment, and most importantly, services. We have the largest facility management services uh, offering around the world with Global 1000 companies and the largest energy service company in North America. That's pretty incredible. So you mean like innovation is not just about products? No. In fact, one of the keys to innovation is to identify problems worth solving. Some of my favorite quotes about innovation comes from Amory Lovins, who says, people don't really want a refrigerator, they want a cold beer. And that's interesting. If you think about it as delivering cold beer, you might think of various ways of chilling that beer and keeping it cool over time. Black & Decker, when they were trying to innovate new power tools, um, came up with the realization that people don't want a quarter-inch drill. They want a quarter-inch hole. So there are many, many ways of delivering that hole, which is the outcome, instead of focusing on the product that delivers it. Pretty cool. So now we have to think about, in looking at the business today, what would Warren do if he's confronting some of the problems that we're looking at? He'd first think about customer problems, and if those problems are, in fact, unarticulated or not readily obvious to the customers, that's where you can get true breakthrough innovation. So my recommendation is to look around at our customers, think of the problems they're facing, and think of innovative ways of combining our products, our services, our technologies, and our solutions to better deliver a solution that's cost-effective to those customers. You mean that's not just going to happen in our engineering labs all around the world? No. In fact, a lot of innovation in Johnson Controls comes from the field. We have people that are very much committed to solving those customer problems and the resources to be able to bring in third-party technologies, unique partners, and in fact, invent things from time to time when things are missing. Those are great sources of ideas and innovation that we can bring back, harvest, standardize, and bring to our markets globally. Wow, that sounds like something everybody in building efficiency can do. That is something, in fact, that everyone in building efficiency can do. You do not have to have a Ph.D. in engineering to find a customer problem and think creatively about how you might solve that problem. So I think that's the challenge, then, that we want to give everybody. Try to figure out and look at the problems that are out there today and figure out what would Warren do. Exactly. What would Warren do?